Today's show is being brought to you by Reading Thermal. With the new Scorpion 2 digital humidity sensor, you can easily measure the moisture level produced by steam injection. Learn more at readingthermal.com today. Are you having difficulty getting a good cross on your artisan brand? What's the best way to give your buns a good shine? The answer is steam. And today we do a deep dive into steam technology and how to control it. Hello, loyal followers of Wikipedia.com. Welcome to the Ask Dr. Lin Show, where your questions get more thoroughly answered. Many of you come to Wikipedia.com seeking answers to your daily technical questions. So hey there, and thank you for joining me today. I am Dr. Lin from Wikipedia, the world's largest resource for technical baking information. Why do I say that? Well, because we have just surpassed a million pages read. That's right, in 2019, we had over 1.1 million pages read with an average time of six minutes per page. So bakers like you are sitting there and reading our pages for a long time and then asking more questions. That's why we have the show. Have a burning baking question? Pick a PDF. Still have more questions? Place any comments on the topics that you're researching on Wikipedia, and I'll do my best on this show to answer them all. All right, here goes. I'm going to focus today's show on steam, how to use them, and how to measure their effect. You can give your bread a better crust through the application of steam. And not just like a steam room or a sauna, but an actual jet of highly heated steam. What does that do? When steam is injected onto the surface of the bread, it penetrates the surface tension and immediately starts working on the starch. The starch granules swell and gelatinizes and form bonds with neighboring molecules. This action causes rigidity in the crust. The more forceful the steam injection and the longer it bakes, the more crusty your bread will be. Therefore, your steam injection technology needs to be precise. Well, remember what I said just now about starch gelatinization? Go to our baking page to learn more about starch gelatinization in the baking process. When you give that much water to the surface of the crust, the gelatinization at the surface, which is around 170 degrees Fahrenheit, tend to be quicker. This fills out the tiny crevices at the surface, reducing porosity. Less porosity at the surface means, means an increase in the reflectance of light, which pretty much means that it's more shiny. Therefore, when you give your buns a steam treatment to make it less porous, adding a light egg wash or eggless wash system to it later would give it a better shine. Before you do that, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you check out this page on humidity and understand what's going on in the different zones of your industrial oven. It's so important that you do this. Why do you do that? Well, by sending in a humidity sensor, you can understand your humidity profile in your oven. Do you know if you're even injecting steam in there? How do you know to quantify that? Contact Richard Stark at Reading Thermal to learn more about their new Scorpion 2 digital humidity sensor and how you can use it to profile your humidity and really to see if your steam injectors work properly. For all you know, after sending in the Scorpion 2 sensor, 
you find out that there is a manual adjustment to your steam valves that's really an easy fix and you don't need to steam longer than 10 seconds why not longer well because if you put in more steam you're gonna have to need to put in more energy to bake off that water so don't do that so try to study your humidity profile first before adding in more steam time okay Believe it or not, this is a common problem due to the increase in output of the oven. Now, your humidity profile should look like this, with a peak in zone 1 and an immediate reduction in zone 2. If you do not have this profile, then you need to do whatever you can to obtain it, including opening up valves. What other things can you do besides opening up the valves? You have to either increase the baking temperature to drive out the water or to put in another oven zone. But before you do either of those, do you know that's an easier fix? Yes, slow down your throughput. I know, I know you do not like hearing this, but when your profile is not like the one in the graph, it really means that you have a bigger problem on your hands. It means that someone increased the speeds at the dough divider or the proofer without considering the oven load. This is why the moisture is still in zone three. Big mistake. So study your humidity profile first, slow down your process before you truly overload the oven. Then decide if putting in a new oven zone would justify increasing the output situation. I hope my explanation helps. So let me summarize this. If zone three is too humid and you cannot open up your valves, increase your baking temperature or put in another oven zone or slow down your throughput. Now, let me give you my two cents on this situation. When scaling up or increasing the output of your system, are the people involved doing this as a team? Or is it just one person manipulating the process? Sometimes if the person making the decision for the output doesn't know the science and engineering concepts behind it, they will not be aware of the oven issue. Therefore, you may end up spending more money in energy, in this case, by increasing the temperature to drive up the moisture. So you have to ask yourself, is it worth it to spend more money so that you can increase your output? Doesn't sound very efficient to me, does it? So do me a favor, before you mess around with output rates, make sure you profile your oven efficiencies. You can do it by using profilers like the Scorpion 2. Scorpion 2 can determine important decisions for your process. That's easy. All right, I'd like to do a shout out to our sponsor, Reading Thermal, and their new Scorpion 2 digital humidity sensor. This breakthrough design provides bakers with an easy, accurate, and reliable way to measure the absolute moisture through the baking process. The sensor produces a profile of air temperature, dew point temperature, and percentage moisture by volume all used to adjust the amount of steam injection and its extraction. Go to readingthermal.com today to learn more. Hey, before I end this episode, I have a favor to ask you. Please give me a like below if I have helped you in any way in understanding steam and crusting your bread today. Also, please subscribe to this channel so that you get a notification every time I upload a new baking science video or go live on YouTube. Okay, till the next time bakers, have a baking question. Bakerpedia!